for Valentine's Day, day after Lincoln's birthday, um, the Sunday after the second week of Upward Basketball and Cheer. And uh, here we are. We're having a good time. Yesterday, speaking of Upward Basketball and Cheer, we had about 1,300 people come through uh, and had a great time. And uh, we just uh, um, love what God is doing and what he wants to do uh, through that ministry and through all of those that are part of it. Again, if you're working in it, part of it, thank you very much. Let's sing together. Greatest day in history. Death is beat and you have rescued me. Sing it out. Jesus is alive. The empty cross, the empty grave. Life eternal, you have won the day. Sing it out. Jesus is alive. He's alive.
this morning, there are a couple of uh, other needs that we want to pray about. One is, many of you know Ray Holden, older gentleman, walks uh, uh, with a uh, walker. Uh, they discovered this past week that Ray has had, uh, has, does have cancer, and they are working in the process now of uh, figuring out exactly how to treat it. Also, remember to pray for Jack and Aline Stark. Uh, their grandson was killed in an automobile accident in California earlier this week. Um, and his name is Donnie Fowler, for those of you that uh, know the family. Donnie was injured quite seriously in Iraq about three years ago, and uh, uh, 
died this past week in an automobile accident. Let's pray, shall we? Again, O oh Lord, we thank you today for your grace and for your mercy that is extended to us in the cross of Jesus Christ. And as we think about uh, that song that we just uh, that we just sang and offered up to you as a sacrifice of praise. Lord, that is our desire, that you indeed would lead us to the cross. And we pray, God, today that uh, through the cross and through the cross-styled life, through the taking up of our cross that you lead us to, Father, that we might bring honor and glory unto your name, and that we might uh, sense your love and your presence in the process and in, and, in the, and in the doing and in the working out of your will each and every day. Lord, we thank you for the privilege we have of coming together on a Sunday morning to honor and to glorify the name of Jesus. We thank you for uh, Rusty Robbins, and we thank you for his being here today. And Lord, know that you are going to challenge us and you are going to speak to our hearts about the good news of Jesus Christ that... Um, that is uh, um, being spread and put forth through a variety of means and variety of measures. Lord, I pray for his wife, Diane, today. And as she is uh, uh, home uh, sick and recovering from some surgery, we just ask God that you would be with her and that you would give her your strength and your touch and blessing right now. Lord, we pray today for uh, Ray Holden. And we just thank you for this man, and we ask, God, that your strength and your grace and peace would be upon him and his wife, Shirley, as they, um, as, as they embark on a very unsuspected turn in their lives. And we just ask, Lord, today that you would draw near to them, that you would bring healing and strength and help and hope day by day and moment by moment. Lord, we pray for Jack and Aline Stark and all of the Stark family, really, uh, and the Fowler family. Uh, there are many relatives uh, that are close at hand here, and, and uh, we know that uh, Donnie had gone through many, many struggles throughout his lifetime, uh, not the least of which was his injuries a few years ago in, in, uh, in battle. But, Lord, we pray that you would be with this family. We pray for his mom, Debbie, and, uh, and his, and his uh, dad as well. And, God, we just ask that you would draw near to this family with your strength and your comfort and your help today. Lord, we bring to you also those of our congregation that need to hear your voice this morning. Lord, we bring to you uh, those with spiritual needs, those that are struggling in their faith, in their walk with Christ. Maybe the faith is fine, but the walk is faulty. And we pray, O oh God, today that you would just, uh, by the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would bring conviction, that you would bring certainty, that you would bring a desire above everything else to love and to serve you. Father, we pray today for uh, our, our community. Uh, thank you, Lord, for all those that are part of our upward basketball and cheer. Father, we pray that the message and that the love of Jesus Christ would be shown and would be experienced by all who are a part of it. Lord, we pray for our, our, our state, our nation. We pray for our world. Father, we know that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords and that truly the events of this world are in your hands. You are the, the sovereign. You are the supreme of all things. And, Lord, we, just, and we know that you know uh, all that is happening in every corner, every portion of this, of this world. And we just ask, God, that you would continue to hold forth as, as the sovereign Lord of all the universe. Again, we thank you, Lord, that the sovereign Lord of all the universe um, loves the church and has called the church out of the world to be a light uh, unto the world of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray today that you'd help us truly to be that light and that you would guide our hearts and our minds. Thank you, Lord, for being with us and thank you for helping us in so many ways. Thank you for providing for us our daily bread. And Lord, we, we bring some of that back to you today in the form of tithes and offerings and ask that you would receive it as it is given as an expression of love and sacrifice and giving unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated.